striking these days if you look at democracies around the world, there is widespread frustration among citizens almost everywhere with politics, with politicians, with political parties. And I think that the, the reason for this is that in most of our democracies, we're not really debating the questions that matter most. Citizens want politics to be about big questions. And yet, for the most part these days, our public discourse is about narrow, technocratic, managerial things, rather than large questions about values and about ethics, including what makes for a just society. How can we seek for the common good? What does it mean to be a citizen? So I'm hoping in my talk to give some examples of what a richer, more ethically engaged public discourse might look like. Well, one example uh, would deal with questions of rising inequality, the growing gap between rich and poor. In recent decades, there has been great economic growth in many parts of the world. Millions of people have been lifted out of poverty, and that's a great achievement. But at the same time, there's been a growing gap between rich and poor. And so this is one question that we should be debating in democratic societies. To what extent is inequality compatible with a just society? At a certain point, does too great a gap between rich and poor begin to erode the social and civic ties that hold societies together and that give citizens a sense that we are in this together? Is it corrosive? of, of uh, solidarity and of democratic political community. So that's one example. Uh, a second example would be, what should be the role of money in markets in a good society? Today there are very few things that money can't buy. And yet we really haven't had a debate about the role of markets. Many people thought after the financial crisis that this would mark a period of renewed uh, discussion and debate and reflection about what should be the role of markets. Where do they serve the public good? And where, they may, where may they crowd out non-market values worth caring about? It's hard to predict the future of democracy. And I think the, uh, the future of democracy will depend on whether or not we can revitalize and reinvigorate democratic citizenship. Today, it's harder and harder to say what what citizenship really requires of, of us. To what extent do we sense that we share a common life in democratic societies, engaged in an ongoing debate about big questions that matter, including questions about justice and community? Uh, and to what extent do we see ourselves more, less as citizens than as consumers? And so the future of democracy depends, I think, on recasting our identity so that we think of ourselves not only as consumers, but also as democratic citizens.